Hello and welcome to this honest review of Artistly. This is a Paul Pona product that allows you to generate images and do creative things from text prompts. And it costs $147 one time fee. There is a 30 day money back guarantee. So let's now go and look at what you get for your $147 with Artistly. So we're in Artistly and we've got AI image design where you enter a prompt. We've got background designer, which is actually background remover, upscaler, we can restylize things, we can, can work out the prompt based on the picture, we can do some in painting, we can do prompt extending, and we've got our designs and we've got community designs. So first of all, if I look at doing what we typically think of with AI image generator, we've got our styles down here, and I'm gonna put in Spider-Man, fighting in a neon city. And I'm gonna first do photorealistic. Let's generate that design. While I'm waiting for this, I'll talk about my first image. Here are two images. This was man walking in New York in 1970 style. So we got that. And then I tried the AI image upscaler and I got this. So you can see this one looks a little bit sharper. In all fairness, I prefer this one. So this is still processing and it's been processing for some time, but like, oh, here we are. So let's have a look at this. So we've got uh, all the negative prompts reviews here and the positive prompts. So it's quite good that we can understand the prompts and stuff. So this looks really good. I'm really impressed with that. Now, first of all, we can make it private. So I don't want other people to be able to see it. So it is private. And let's go back to this. And we might want to change it. So I think I went for photorealistic. I'm now going to go for comic. Let's click redesign. We've got our positive prompts, our negative prompts, and we can add more to either. We can change the size. So we've got all manner of larges, but I guess it's the, the ratio. This is a square and these two are not going to be square. I think this is going to be portrait and this is going to be landscape. So let's go for landscape. We want a consistent character. That's good that you can get that. And we can pick some other things down here like age. I'm not interested in age, not interested in emotion because it's Spider-Man. I don't need to worry about ethnicity and I don't need to worry about those things, season. So I'm going to click redesign and let's see what it comes up with. Okay, so let's just have a bigger look at that. That's really good. So that's gone for a comic book. That's really good. I'm really impressed with that. And again, let's do another redesign. Let's go for two and 3D and let's redesign that. I probably should have made that image private again. Um, I think I'm just going to, again, I wanna go for landscape. I wanna go for consistent character. Let's have a look at this one. This one was where we used the style of 2D, 3D. It looks very, very similar to the comic, but I am happy with that. That's almost mid journey level good. That's really good. I'm really happy with that. Excellent. So now what we can do is we could take the background away. So let's have a look at taking the background away. So I'm going to go here to AI background and I'm going to select one of my personal designs and I'm going to take the background away from here and let's remove the background. So unfortunately it can't be any bigger than 1024 pixels. So maybe I'll try a different one and let's try removing this background. So we can upload our own image or we can use an image URL, but we have the problem if you can't go higher than 1024 pixels, which is a shame. So I've had to give up on that. I don't think it's worked. So I've just gone back to um, the dashboard. I don't think my background removal is working. So I've given up on it. Let's see if it has worked. I don't think it has. Let's go to my personal designs. It's still processing. So maybe we'll find it works later. Maybe we won't. So that's the background um, designer. Let's go to the upscaler. And again, we can take an image. We can upload our image, use a URL or select our own one. Let's pick one of the designs. I do like this image. So let's upscale it to 2K. It's only an upscale, so we can improve human photos. Let's just upscale this one and see what happens. And again, we cannot pick anything with a bigger height than 1024. So let's upscale this one. 
okay and we'll be waiting so we'll come back to that a little bit later let's get rid of this notification and obviously some of these things take a long time oh fantastic so let's just have a look at that so i'm going to download it and i'm going to put the images side by side the original and this one and i'm also going to inspect and put their pixel width up so i'm going to put that in the video so we've got our ai styler and again let's just pick so let's make it into a gta cartoon we can also stylize the design by adding a simple description um, neon colors in the style of a so let's, um, let's just click on that now i don't know which one it's going to take is it going to take the prompts that i put down the bottom in option two or is it going to take option one or is the fact that i have used two going to cause a problem so it has been stylized and you know what that is a very good stylization i'm very impressed with that that's really good so i'm going to stylize it again but i am going to do it as a gta maybe i should have removed this option two put it set it back to blank but let's see what happens i like that that's very good actually again cannot complain with that that's really good that's really impressive so let's look at this design to prompt and again we're going to use one of our own we will use this one so let's generate the prompt from this image so this is reverse engineering our image to get the prompt um, and this is how the ai sees it. a man in a suit and tie walking down the street with a bag in his hand and cars in the background maximalism a colorized photo annie Leibovitch, masculine so I certainly didn't type that in. I used a very different prompt, but that's actually really useful for helping me to craft prompts myself. Let's have a look at this AI in painter. Guess which one we're gonna use again? We're gonna use this one. Paint and add a mask on the specific areas of your image. So we might want to do some in painting here. And I might want this to be bicycles rather than having some taxis. So people riding bicycles like in Holland and I can't spell. I'm not sure if I spelt Holland correctly. Let's see what happens. So we've masked this area out and there were taxis there and we might see some people. Oh, oh, so we've got one person riding a bike whereas before let me reset the mask there were no bikes that's quite good that um let's do that again so here so this is like photoshop's um in generative fill that is this is really good so we're going to put lots here because i want a hot dog stand let's see what we get I almost feel like possibly I haven't got, I should have used a bit bigger area because the person might be very small. Let's have a look. Oh, oh, well, I mean, it's not perfect, but I'm still very impressed with that. So that's in painting. That's really good. Now, I'm not sure what this prompt extender is. Write a simple prompt and extend positively and negatively. So here's our simple prompt. Let's see what we get and let's see how we can extend this prompt. Okay, so it's given us a positive and negative. We want a photorealistic. Let's redesign. Let's go for that. And let's see what we get. Seems like that's gonna take a long time and this one here is still processing. I don't know whether I'm ever going to get something processed and same for this one. I can't tell. So let's look at the community designs. This one is mine, so I want to make that private. So that's not showing up. Interesting that we've got like a hot dog stand here. 
These are all very good, aren't they? These community ones. Now, our hot dog stand, that was actually our one that I saw. So let me have a look at this. So I want to make that private. This was our hot dog stand in New York. That's now been made private. I am very impressed with Artistly. I can't decide whether it's worth $147 or not, but it is very impressive with what it can do one-time fee i'm not paying a monthly subscription this is very good is it worth 147 dollars not sure but it's certainly very good software thank you goodbye